Hey guys, welcome back. In today's video, we're gonna be talking about week four on Nutrisystem, how it's been going for me so far after I've been doing it for a month, but I'm also going to be sharing with you all about Smart Carbs and Power Fuels. So let's go ahead and jump right in. talk about how I've been doing first before we jump into smart carbs and power fuels. I want to start by just sharing with you guys that I have not been doing the best. I'm just going to be honest with you. So the first time I did Nutrisystem, I lost quite a bit of weight. I'm not going to go through all of this again. You guys can go watch week one, two, and three to hear a lot more about where I've come from and what's been going on so far and how much weight I've actually lost. So I'm not going to go into that a whole lot, but I'll just share with you really quick where I've been. So I did Nutrisystem one time before. It was in April of 2020 and I did it for three months. Prior to doing Nutrisystem, I lost 25 pounds on my own. And then when I started Nutrisystem, I did it because I was kind of flatlined. I was just holding steady at about 194, 195, and I was frustrated and tired of being there. So I decided to use a program I've never done before. I've only ever tried to just eat healthy and do a calorie deficit. And it works for me for a while until I start doing these little bitty things that I'm gonna share with you guys in just a minute that hold my weight loss and frustrate me so bad and that's what I was doing so I chose Nutrisystem because Nutrisystem took all the guesswork out of weight loss and I really like that I was uh, taking myself out of the equation and I knew if I just followed this program I would lose weight and be successful and that's exactly what I did I had never done anything like this before though the first time I did Nutrisystem the first week I lost 10 pounds I was like what and then it was a steady like one to two pounds a week after that, until three months later, I lost 22 pounds total on Nutrisystem in three months. I have been able to keep that off. I'm really excited about that. And that's not why I'm doing Nutrisystem again because it didn't work the first time. No, I'm doing Nutrisystem again because it worked for me and I wanted to keep losing a little bit more weight. I have about 20, 25 pounds to go still um, before I'm really at my healthy weight and my goal. So this time has been a little different. The first week I did not lose 10 pounds this time. The first week I only lost three pounds and I was like, boo to that, but it was three pounds. I wasn't celebrating that and I was very frustrated because I was comparing it to the first time I did Nutrisystem. But I am a little healthier now than I was then and my body doesn't need to lose that much weight that fast. So after my first week, I didn't lose any weight. And then the third week I gained a pound and lost that again in the week. So I'm not counting that as weight lost because I gained it and then lost it. So to still in three weeks, I was down three pounds. And then this past week, which is week four, I actually lost two pounds. Yes, I'm gonna share with you guys some things that actually changed up a little bit in week four to start really losing weight again and stop being on the flat line. And it wasn't Nutrisystem's fault, the program works. It was totally my fault. I'm gonna share with you guys what I was doing wrong here in just a second. So grand total for one month, I've only lost five pounds. But I say only when I should be like, yes, I lost five pounds because that's awesome. That's an average of a little over a pound a week, that is healthy, sustainable weight loss. Nutrisystem says one to two pounds a week and any other healthy diet that you're ever gonna be on or healthy eating plan if you're in a calorie deficit, they say one to two pounds a week is a healthy weight loss because it's sustainable. And that's exactly what I have been able to accomplish uh, is sustain the weight loss that I worked so hard for in the beginning of 2020. So I shouldn't be frustrated at myself, but I think the reason why I'm frustrated with myself is because I know that I sabotaged my success for two whole weeks. And what I mean by that is for two weeks, I was eating the food that I was allotted, breakfast, lunch, dinner, and a snack, plus my smart carbs and my power fuels. I was eating all of it, no matter if I was hungry or not and I was making sure I was eating my snack even if it was at 10 o'clock at night. Plus I would go out to coffee with my daughter occasionally, like maybe once a week, and then I would pick on little snacks around the house that the kids were having, and just little bitty tiny things, like one to 300 calories extra in my day here and there was keeping me flatlined and it was so annoying <laughs> and I knew it and I also really wasn't exercising like I should. So I started amping up my exercise like I'm supposed to be. And then this past week, I changed some things up big time. So what I did was I cut out my nighttime snack for the most part. 
I think I only ate nighttime snack twice. I don't do well when I eat late at night. I never have done well, especially in, when I eat right before I'm going to bed. So not only did I cut out my nighttime snack, I ended up swapping out two major meals. So instead of eating a Nutrisystem dinner at dinner time and a Nutrisystem lunch at lunchtime, I swapped those. So I would eat my Nutrisystem breakfast and then uh, with a power fuel. And then two to three hours later, you're supposed to have another power fuel before lunch, somewhere in between breakfast and lunch. I kind of skipped that maybe three times this week. And it's not because I was trying to cut calories. It's just because I wasn't hungry and I didn't need it. So I said, I, I'm not going to eat it. I'm trying really hard to learn to listen to my body's cues for hunger and I really wasn't hungry. So I decided not to eat another 100 calorie power fuel between breakfast and lunch. And then at lunchtime, I ate a Nutrisystem dinner instead of lunches. Um, so I ate a bigger lunch, basically. I was eating the Nutrisystem dinner at noon instead of at five o'clock or six o'clock or sometimes seven o'clock before I get to eat dinner sometimes. like. The struggle is real, okay? And of course I'm eating all my vegetables and I'm definitely not skipping my afternoon power fuel and smart carb combination, which I'm gonna share with you guys here in just a few minutes, some of my favorites. But doing those little changes and then not picking on my kids like snacks here and there, I lost two pounds. So I'm really happy about that and that's what I'm gonna keep doing. And I added exercise every day this week. No matter what, I worked out for 30 minutes at least every day this week. And so that's what I need. I need to make sure that I am not drinking a bunch of seltzer water, but I'm drinking actual water. And I'm almost done with this one right here, but you guys can see this is just lemon water. I just juiced a bunch of lemons and I'm gonna show you guys a really neat way to do that super fast and keep it in my refrigerator. And then I just dump it in my jar because I get bored with regular water all the time. I like water, but I want a little something different every now and then so I just dump some lemon juice in my water and it looks like lemonade you can actually make it into lemonade if you wanted to put like a packet of Truvia in there or some stevia or something like that I bought this really neat cold press juicer and you can juice like a whole bag of lemons in less than five minutes so I'll show you guys that here in a few minutes and then if you want one I'll leave a link in the description below here's how I feel Nutrisystem works it's a great program I'm so grateful that I found it do I want to be doing Nutrisystem for the rest of my life no, definitely not. But if you're looking for a really great way to lose weight, I want to give you guys an opportunity to save some money with Nutrisystem. I'm going to put a link in the description below for you to save 50% off all of your subscription orders. So you guys can just click on the link below. It'll just take you straight to the Nutrisystem's website where it'll have automatically put you in for saving 50% off your orders. If you're going to be doing Nutrisystem for more than one month, it makes so much financial financial sense to do that. So grab that link and you guys can save some money and try it. So let's go ahead and talk about power fuels and smart carbs. I'm going to take you guys inside to my kitchen and we're going to look at my favorite power fuel and smart carbs combinations and my veggies and extras, just things that I use. But if you guys are like, I don't really like anything that she's eating, that's okay. You can either get some ideas from what I do or you can just make up your own stuff. You can go to the Numi app and pull up the grocery guides. And if you don't know about Numi apps and grocery guides and all that stuff, I did an entire video for you showing you how to use Numi. It's a free app, but they have in there a grocery guide. And at the end of this video, I'm going to put a link to that video so you guys can get to it really easily if you watch all the way through to the end. And you guys don't have to stick to just the lists that they have for you on the grocery guide. You can go branch off and do whatever you want to do. And I actually did that this week because I was tired of eating apples and string cheese because I was on the go a lot like for the first three weeks. And that's just what I grabbed in the afternoon to go like to the pool or whatever. And it does work for those days. But when I'm home, I need to spend a little bit more time and get creative in the kitchen and make my power fuel my smart carb combination be more fun. So I have found some really great combinations I can't wait to share with you guys here in just a minute. Let's go ahead inside. So some of the smart carbs that I use are hummus because you can dip that with like a ton of vegetables. I use any kind of fruit as a smart carb. I also like to take these wraps right here and 
pair it with this deli chicken and make like a wrap with, and I can add like a bunch of veggies to that wrap and do like green leaf lettuce or baby spinach and some shredded carrots if I feel like it. I could even put on some broccoli slaw. So you can get so creative when it comes to making these. So you don't have to get bored eating the same thing all the time. Another really great and super simple Power Fuel Smart Carb combination is using Quick Oats and almond milk to make like overnight oats. So you just get you a little jar and use the almond milk as your power fuel. And quick oats is your smart carb and you can sweeten it with some Truvia. You put a little bit of cinnamon in there. You can get creative and make it really delicious. I love to add cinnamon to pretty much everything as you guys can tell. So that's pretty much it for the smart carbs that I use on a regular basis. The power fuels that I use, I have to make sure that I am not just eating a bunch of dairy because Dairy tends to be like the easiest thing for me to go to. Um, you can branch out and use like canned meat. This is a hundred calorie canned tuna and it's got 24 grams of protein. That's you can totally up your protein and eat something like this or you can eat some provolone cheese for like eight grams of protein. So that's still a good amount of protein and it's fine. It's just there are some better options if you wanted like really high protein, you know you were just gonna be hungry and you wanted that. You can just do hard boiled eggs and you guys are gonna see a really neat combination that I made with some uh, sweet potato toast and avocado so that I can make avocado toast earlier this week. I'm going to show you guys that. You're going to love it. It's so good. You guys got to try it. It's really delicious. Uh, also another really good go-to is just peanut butter. I can add peanut butter to these quick oats and you guys can tell I really like those because I do those a lot too. Otherwise, um, I just do a lot of cottage cheese for breakfast proteins. I do Greek yogurt, but make sure that you're going to get the non-fat plain Greek yogurt because otherwise it's full of sugar and a lot more higher in calories when this one right here, this Shabani, is only 90 calories for three-fourths of a cup. So you're getting quite a bit of yogurt and you can add cinnamon, Truvia, bananas, nothing, however you like it. It's just an easy power fuel. Same thing that I like to add into my diet at least twice a week is kombucha. Kombucha is really good for your gut health. It's just got a lot of really good probiotics and things in there that help to, you know, keep you regular and keep everything healthy in there. If you like kombucha, you definitely add that into your Nutrisystem diet, but I would only do it maybe twice a week because it's 50 calories for 16 ounces. So you could just add that if you're like, hey, I'm, a, I'm not a wine drinker, but I want to add a little extra something. I'm tired of water or coffee or tea, this is a really great alternative. Okay, so here's some of the veggies that I use on a regular basis. I have to branch out with vegetables so that I don't get bored for sure. And I like to just go ahead and prep my veggies so that they're easy to go. But um, this is cucumbers that I cut up the day before and then you can do zucchini and make like zucchini noodles and add it to one of the pasta dishes that they have through Nutrisystem. You could do something like these little carrot chips if you're like me and you really love <laughs> eating crunchy chips and miss that so much because I do, <laughs> you can do something like this. So these are really great alternative and they even look like wavy lays to me. So some of the really fun things I like to do are stir fries. So I like to keep these around to add to my salads and my stir fries. It just makes them a little bit more interesting. Broccoli, slaw, and matchstick carrots. I uh, also love baby carrots. So you guys can tell I really like carrots. <laughs> and those are just really easy to grab and go. Um, one of my favorite things in the whole wide world of vegetables is sugar snap peas. These are just really great when you're having like a hankering for something sweet. I've lived in the South too long. I just said hankering. That's funny. Um, but anyways, if you feel like eating something sweet, I never cook these. I always eat them raw, but I guess you could cook them. And then just always having these little like pre-made bags of salad on hand is it's really helpful when you're feeling like you don't have time to cut up a bunch of stuff and go. I know it's a little bit more pricey to do it this way, but it just helps me to not make any excuses for why I'm not eating what I should be eating. One of my other favorite things to add to any side dish are these little mini sweet peppers and they're not hot, they're sweet and you can dip them in hummus. You could eat them just like this. You could cut them, cut them up, put them in a salad. You can do all kinds of different things with those. And then two more staples I always keep in my fridge are these romaine green leaf lettuce pieces because I can use these to make wraps. If you've watched any of my other videos, you know I also really love 
frozen vegetables because they are just really easy and you can add them to an entire meal and make a bulkier meal and not feel really hungry. You know, if you're just super starving in the middle of the day or at the end of the day, you can add a bag of steamed vegetables to pretty much all of your entrees and make them delicious. I'll share with you guys the avocado sweet potato toast that I figured out how to make earlier this week. So you're gonna enjoy watching that here in a few minutes. And this is just a smart carb because it's the sweet potato and it like they look really neat. They actually look like a piece of toast and you can put them in your toaster. Well, those are frozen together, but you can put them in your toaster and you can put one of the extras on there, which is avocado. So you can have an eighth of an avocado if you have the actual fruit on hand, but I just use these frozen avocados and pull out about a tablespoon of them and let them thaw out. And I just spread it on the cauliflower sweet potato toasts and I'm good to go. And I pair that with a power fuel. If I have a hard boiled egg, I can do that. But if not, I can just put it with anything else. Um, like the other day I did mine, I just had almonds with it. And then here's another really great option that Nutrisystem does not have on their you know, list of stuff because you guys can get stuff that's not on their list, okay? 13 grams of protein, it's a veggie burger, um, and it's only 100 calories for one burger. So this is a great option for a power fuel that you can put either in a wrap, if that's your thing, or like I do, I just wrap it in lettuce and go. I can put on some mustard, I can put on some pickles. So let's talk about some extras real quick. So this is my extra that I probably have too much extra of. I bet if I cut this out of my diet completely, I'd be good. But uh, it's only 10 calories for a tablespoon, and that's pretty much, I mean, that's a lot of creamer. Olives is another good extra that you can add so that you have some healthy fat in your diet, either on a salad or just straight up on the side of my plate. I love to have some whole dill pickles in my refrigerator just to snack on. I just like them. If you like them, they're healthy for you. So there's lots and lots of other extras that you guys can see in the app tons. So so much for hanging out with me today and following along with me on my journey as I'm documenting my Nutrisystem weight loss journey to hopefully help you guys out, encourage you along the way, and just share some of my ideas. If you guys have any tips or power fuel and smart carb combinations that you enjoy, I would love to hear about those. Just leave them in the comment section below for me and for other people that come along here and just kind of want to see what other people are doing. It's just fun to learn from each other. So you guys be sure to do that. And if you like this video today, just give it a quick thumbs up and be sure to come back next next week where I'm going to be talking about week five on Nutrisystem and hopefully share with you guys victories and failures if I have any of those. <laughs> hopefully I don't have any of those along the way. So you guys hang out with me for the remainder of the summer while I'm doing Nutrisystem for these three months. I have two more months to go and at the end I'm going to share with you guys all of my results and my before and after pictures and all that fun stuff. So you guys just come on and hang out with me all the way to the end. But until then you guys have a great week. Thanks for hanging out with me. Bye.